What is up fellow YouTubers? My name is Mike. Welcome to the MDH Automotive Channel where all your automotive dreams come true. Um, basically, I want to do a quick video today. Uh, this should be a fairly quick video, but um, as you may notice, I have a very empty shop right now. Even over under the loft, a very, very empty shop. I figured today was a good day to get the vehicles out and to clean out the shop you know kind of a little spring cleaning type thing i haven't done it since the wedding that was back in september so you know about every six months or so it's probably a good idea to get the vehicles out and um, just clean up in the shop and then pull the vehicles back in clean them up um, it is an endeavor i will say yes feel sad for me but you will notice all the vehicles don't tell Kristen that the cobra is taking up the spot of the journey right now she but um, yeah, all the vehicles are out right now, and um, you're like, where's the rest of them? I'll show you. There they are. The rest of the vehicles are right out there. So, um, it actually takes a little bit of time to do this. I had to start all the vehicles, pull them out, then I blew everything out with the blower, then swept everything, then dusted everything. Now I'm going to start putting them back in. So, like I said, I thought I'd just do a quick video of this. Nothing too exciting, and um, that's really going to be about it. Yeah, so let's start moving the vehicles back in and get them situated, shall we? Okay, all done. Everything is where I want it to be at this point in time. You guys can kind of see, decided to put the Mustang over where the um, Cobra was, and the Cobra is now going to be right there. And when the GTO is done and ready, it's going to sit right here. This one, I figure, I can easily move like back and forth right here. And if I want to pull any of these vehicles out, I can. So that should work. The GTO that I just got issues uh, with the water pump was leaking it actually ended up being the housing in front of the water pump luckily Eddie did dive into that because it was getting really bad and if it would have went much longer we would probably would have had water and oil and that's definitely a bad thing okay, yesterday I took a drive up to French camp which is about a 45 minute drive in the 72 C10 and got me some new center caps you guys can see there I like them much better I'm not a big fan of those nipple style hubcaps which my wife says I just enjoy saying nipple it's not bad but I like these a lot better I think they look better I'm getting used to the tires at first I wasn't too crazy about them but they actually look pretty good and they do help out with the ride quite a bit like I said took this truck up like an hour and a half ride both ways to and from and it did really really well I feel really more very comfortable with the gas gauge I know that it's just working backwards and we can probably get that fixed very very soon so um, but you know it did pretty well check the mileage on it just to kind of see where I was at so I could be as accurate as possible and I'm getting like 12 miles a gallon so it's not great but I don't buy these vehicles for the mileage so um, yeah once we get the Pontiac back the GTO in its place and figure out what's gonna happen with the Galaxy and get that all settled I think I'm gonna settle down for a little while I say that I'm gonna continue to look and look and you know every night I'm on Craigslist and other websites just looking and seeing what's out there and I mean you never know I might find a good trade I might find something else that maybe has to go back over in that corner back there and like be facing this way with, with the Cobra who knows but if I do it's gonna have to be something very small that I can maneuver in there I ended up picking a few cool 
little cars. You see the Ford GT and the Model A and the Mustang. And then we've got the Ranchero. There is about a 72, I would say, Chevelle. Several Corvettes. About a 63 Chevy Bel Air. Um, 55 or 56, I'm not sure. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell with these models. Uh, Chevy. And a Viper. Um, actually had a Viper that year. I think it was a 2003 or 2004, I forget. But thought that was kind of cool. And um, there was actually I think three or four more vehicles that I have upstairs that really don't fit in with any of my stuff. Cool vehicles like a BMW and I think a Porsche and everything like that. But anyway, there's 16 total and the guy had them on Facebook and he wanted like five bucks a piece or he said all of them for 30 bucks. So I said, yeah, I'll take them. I mean, sight unseen. So when I looked at a couple, I was like, yeah, definitely, I'll take them, paid them, and I'm very happy. So more stuff to fill up the shop, put in here, always a good time. So um, with that, I'm going to end the video. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. We're up to 650 subs as of this morning. Very, very happy about that. Um, I'm shooting for 1,000. I want to get there. So help me get there if you can. So like I said, share, and um, with that, God bless, guys. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.